Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you notice your middle mouse button is not working properly on your Windows 10 computer. So we're going to go ahead and about how to hopefully resolve the problem. First thing I would try, if you had another device that had a USB input, try moving your mouse over to that and see if it's an actual physical mouse issue. You might need to physically actually open up the mouse and clean out the roller in there. It could definitely be an issue with the mouse itself, so it might be dirty. There might be an actual issue with the mouse mechanically, so that's really not covered in this tutorial. This is more from a Windows 10 software perspective, so please just be respectful in the comments if it doesn't work for you because there's a chance that there's something actually wrong with your physical mouse, which a software-based tutorial is not going to clearly resolve. So with that disclaimer out of the way, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to go back to registry editor. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back in the future. And how to do that, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the File tab, and then select Export. File name, usually I recommend the date in which you're making the backup. Export range should be selected to all, and then save it to an easily accessible location on your computer or external media. And then you just would finish it off by selecting Save. And once you've done that, we're ready to begin, and we're going to start by double-clicking on the HK Current User folder, so go double-click on that. Do the same thing for the Control Panel folder. So once you're underneath Control Panel, go ahead and, and just left-click on the Desktop folder. If you need to pause the video at this time and just take note of the file path that's up at the top of our screen here, each backslash is a different folder we've gone under, so pretty straightforward. And now on the right side, now that we're underneath desktop, you want to locate something that says wheel scroll lines. So again, wheel scroll lines should be a string value near the bottom of this list. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. You can see it on my screen here, the value name, again, wheel scroll lines. Value data is set to 3. So if it's anything other than 3, change it to 3. So delete it, type in the numeric 3, don't spell it out, just type the number 3 and then select OK. Once that is done, you should be able to close out of the registry editor. would suggest restarting your computer at this point, and hopefully it would have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.